Well, how y'all doing? I wanted to put this uh, video out for Memorial Day. Memorial Day weekend is more than just going out and barbecuing, going to the lake and all that. Although our, our, uh, some of our parents, grandparents, great, great, great grandparents served in wars throughout our nation's history so that we could enjoy going to the lake and having picnics in the backyard and getting together and all that. So, you know, we do have them to thank for that. And uh, on this Memorial Day weekend, I hope you'll you'll think of the veterans that have, that have passed, those that are no longer with us due to just coming home and passing away and those that we lost in an actual conflict. I personally am a am a 100% service connected disabled veteran. I don't like to talk a whole lot about it. I, I just mention it whenever whenever it's appropriate. <clears throat> but and I don't ask for I don't ask for any special favors from anybody and, and I don't even park in the disabled handicap spot. I leave that for old people. I'm getting there but I ain't that old. But it just gets all over me whenever something happens like what happened uh, yesterday at Murphy Oil or Murphy USA gas station in front of Walmart in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Uh, you can't really hear much of the very beginning because I was filming in the wind. But basically in a nutshell, what happened is I saw this real pretty car parked in the disabled spot at the gas station. Now let's face it, we don't go to a gas station to park and then go up there just because we want to buy Coca-Cola. Normally what it is is we pull up to a gas pump, we get our gasoline, then we go pay for it if necessary, you know, if you don't pay at the pump. Uh, so it's not really that big a deal that this woman that works there was parked in the disabled spot. But what did get me was her freaking attitude. I uh, I had already paid for my gasoline at the pump, and I noticed her car sitting there, nice car, real pretty Dodge Charger. I just glanced at it, thought it was a Mustang. Anyway, I just looked at that and I said, whoever's driving that ain't disabled because that, their car is too hard to get in and out of. I said, somebody's parking there just so their car don't get scratched or so they can keep an eye on it. So I went to the, I went up the front window and there's this woman there. Uh, she wasn't fat. She was what I would call a full size woman. She wasn't real petite. Uh, she wasn't a fat lady though. She just, you know, just full size woman. And uh, she had she had glasses and red hair. And I, uh, I said to her, I said, pardon me, ma'am. I said, is that your Mustang out there? She says, you mean my Dodge Charger? I said, okay, is that your Dodge Charger out there? Yes, it is. I said, uh, are you disabled? No, I'm not. I said, well then why are you parked in, a, in a, this you know, handicapped parking spot? And her response was, this is private property and I can park anywhere I want to. Well, I was somewhat taken aback by that. And I told her, I said, uh, well, that's, that's all well and good. And I told her, I said, I'm a disabled veteran. I just want you to know that uh, that kind of hurts my feelings. I said, that you don't have no more respect for people that are handicapped or disabled than to park in their parking spot when they're in a damn thing wrong with you. And when there's a spot six feet further I said you know that uh that strapped area right there that's that's for where a wheelchair can get in and out but I said I understand I said I uh, I just see how you are so then I I left <clears throat> well she had said well, you know when there's shift change here that's the only place to hire I don't believe that for a damn minute but anyway Here's a little video, shows her car, shows everything else, and 
And I just hope that, by God, if you've got the time, that I would really love for you to call corporate headquarters at Murphy USA and give them and tell them what you think. I uh, I did call them yesterday. And all I got was a little customer service agent. And uh, uh, I told them my concerns. <clears throat> and she says, well, I'll, I'll pass it on up the line. And I said, well, I said, I would like somebody to call me today. That was yesterday. I said, I would like somebody to call me today because I said, I want to give you the opportunity to apologize to all veterans and all disabled people. I want to give you all the opportunity to apologize before I make this video and put it online. Well, apparently it's not very damn important to them, is it? But if you, uh, if you take the time, I'm gonna put the phone number on here. If you got the time, I wish you'd give them a call and just tell them what you think about this. And uh, maybe it's, it'll change some attitudes. Uh, I am, I am very embarrassed. I am very embarrassed that this would happen in the state of Tennessee. We're known as a volunteer state, the one that was always come to your aid. You know, whenever you need to go to war, you know, Tennessee when Tennesseans always volunteered, and it just, I'm embarrassed to see that someone would act like this. So I'll shut up now. Let you watch the rest of it. Have a wonderful day. A better tomorrow and happy Memorial Day to, to all of you. Bye. Well, I went in and asked the woman that works here. I went in there and asked her. If that was her car, she said, yes, it is. I said, are you disabled? She says, no. I said, well, I want you to know it's kind of insulting to those of us that are disabled to see you walk with your sports car there. And this is at Walmart in Shelbyville, Tennessee, the Murphy gas station. Red-headed woman with glasses. She was kind of a smart ass when I talked to her about it too. But that's, it's kind of screwed up. You know, there's two other spaces right there. But we know good and well why she's parked there. She don't want nobody to scratch her car. I mean, heaven forbid she park right over here, right over yonder. That's fucked up. Like I said, we're in Shelbyville, Tennessee, at the Murphy station in front of Walmart. And, uh, the only reason I'm coming back to it is, I forgot to say, whenever uh, I first approached her, I said, ma'am, is that your car out there? Yes, it is. I said, well, I said, is that your Mustang? She says, you mean Charger? I said, yeah, yeah, that. She said, yes, it is. I said, are you disabled? She says, no, I'm not. I said, well, you're parked in a disabled spot. And she says, well, this is private property. I can do whatever I want to on private property. And I said, I understand that. I said, I, I just want you to know I consider it an insult. You know, I'm a 100% service-connected disabled veteran, and I see people like you, they ain't got a thing in the world wrong with them, and you parking in a handicapped spot meant for other people. I said, it's just kind of an insult. She said, well, there's nowhere else to park. Well, I am sitting in the Walmart parking, and this is how far away I am. Oh, I don't know, 75 feet, 100 feet? Well, give me a break. So anyway, we'll see if Murphy Oil or Murphy USA 
gives a dam enough to uh, follow up whenever I uh, link them to this video. I'm gonna send them an email and I'm gonna see if they'll, uh, see, I just wanna see what's gonna happen. I will keep everybody informed. Thanks for watching.